I, I thought this was a great move from the point of view that I'm a gold bug. Great move from the point of view that, hey, listen, why shouldn't companies try to figure out attractive ways to make money? But I also felt that uh, if you didn't have such a strong share base of people who really love you, that it might have been interpreted as something that was too different from your core. Well, you know, we knew we were going to take some flack when we did it. Uh, I think I read uh, comments that it was bizarre, it was random, it was stupid, it was idiotic. Except there was one thing that we were certain of. We were going to make a lot of money. Now, you wouldn't think that the normal core competence of a movie theater company is gold mining or silver mining. But in this case at High Crop, we found a company that was exactly like AMC a year ago, where it had great assets, in this case, silver and gold in the ground, millions of ounces. Uh, and But it had, it had a cash squeeze. It had a liquidity problem. And our company lived through that. We were expert in raising money. And sure enough, it's only two weeks after we did the high craft mining deal, we announced Friday night that we arranged or helped to arrange for $195 million of equity to come into this mining company in two weeks. It's already a huge success story. Well, but let me follow up on what you always said would happen. You felt that you could go on the offense in theaters. There are many theaters that have gone under. Obviously, if people return because of these big hits, you can make a lot of money. Why not stick with your core competence? Because it seems like that it's coming your way anyway. Well, we're going to do that, what you just described. There are three things that we're going to do. Remember that the AMC shareholders armed us with a $1.8 billion war chest to play on the offensive. Uh, those numbers as of December 31, 21, the last quarter end. Uh, and we said we're going to do three things with that money. We we're going to grow and improve our existing core theater business. And we've already added about a third of the Arclight Pacific circuit to our system uh, through individual negotiations with landlords. I can tell you that there are going to be more announcements coming about more theaters being added into our system, good ones, important ones, and markets that we, we value. Uh, second thing, we're going to pay down some debt. And third thing, we were going to look for transformational M&A opportunity. And that's what we found in high crop mining. Well, Adam, it's David. You know, again, then, back to this idea of core competence and the, what you just said, you're experts in raising money. It would seem to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you see a real opportunity here as a competence in terms of finding another business, perhaps, that is uh, in a cash crunch position and applying what you now have as this following uh, of your shareholders to basically turn their fortunes around, whatever they may be. In this case, it was Highcroft. The next one might be another one. I mean, is that the new core competence of AMC to sort of use these, the memesters that you have to help turn around the fortunes of a company because they're willing to put money behind it? Well, um, look, I, I think I have to say the answer to your question is yes. Uh, and we proved it. Because uh, in addition to the money that Eric Sprott put in, who's a gold and silver mining expert, so we have some real credibility in the investment in Highcroft, because if it wasn't uh, an impressive uh, mining potential, uh, Sprott wouldn't be, be there with us with his own money uh, and the money we put in. But like we just raised another $139 million in nine trading days. It's $195 million yeah. going into a company that three weeks ago had a market... Uh, I guess it's two weeks ago, had a market cap of $19 million. Uh, this is an enormous amount of capital that the right. capital and markets was, are allowing us to inject. Yeah. Yeah, and was facing potentially its own cash crunch. But, I mean, they're going to need as much as a billion to make this true transition. Isn't that, isn't that correct, to sort of get that new mill to process what remains in terms of the mine uh, when it comes to sort of the oxide ore running out and, the, you know, being able to process the sulfide ore? Is that correct? Well, you know, we are going to leave the running of the gold and silver mining company to the experts. Uh, we're experts in balance sheets. Eric Sprott is expert in gold and silver. So is Highcroft Mining. But what you described is basically true, although uh, there are exploration sites not yet in full production uh, that are valued at uh, levels that are, uh, you know, infinitely greater than a $19 million market cap. This company was basically priced at bankruptcy levels because it was facing uh, corporate death a few weeks right. after we invested, had we not invested. And so, Understood. Yeah, yes, if we want to go into full production, 
we're going to have to put in a, a, a milling operation. If we want to go into greater exploration, it only takes tens of millions of dollars to explore more than the 2% of the 71,000 acres that currently sit at the Highcroft Mine in northern Nevada.